This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. If you're interested in learning web development, iOS, or UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design and development boot camp intended to get you a full time position in the industry. To learn more, visit devmountain.com or click the link in the description below. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about using pre existing themes or templates in your projects. And this could be uh, just an, an HTML, CSS theme that, that you pick up for a front end of your application or website or a WordPress theme or anything at all that's, that's pre existing that you integrate into your project. Now, the reason I bring this up is because in one of my last videos, the one where I talked about portfolio tips, in the comments, someone asked me what I thought about using, uh, you know, a pre-made theme in their portfolio or as a portfolio. And uh, I'm going to first address that and then I'll just talk about it in general. So using it for your portfolio, I think that if you have the, sk the UI skills to create something that looks decent, then you should do that. Even if it's not as good as a template, I think that it's worth it for it to be unique, you know, for you to have your own brand, something that you built. I think that your portfolio is, is your most important project up until you get hired or up until you, you know, figure out what you're going to do. So if you have the skills, then do it. However, I know that a lot of developers, you know, the UI isn't their forte. Maybe they build microservices and APIs and stuff like that, dealing more with the back end. Um, in that case, then I think it's I think it's fine to use a template. You know, I try to try to customize it as much as you can, but uh, at least in my opinion, I think that that's okay. Now, and take all of this with a grain of salt because it's all just my own opinion from my own experience. Uh, much with you know anything I say in any of my videos. Now, in general, you have you have two types of developers. You have developers that that work for companies. You know they they get their assignment every, every day. They do their job. They're on a, a fixed salary. Uh, I've been in this position, and in, at least in my experience with this, we didn't really deal with templates that much. It wasn't really a thing. However, I've also done a lot of freelancing. I ran my own business. I've created my own projects. In the business world, templates can really be useful. And the reason for that is when you're, when you're working for yourself or you're running a company, you're, every single second of your day counts. Time, time is money, and that's not just a cliche saying. That's, that's complete truth when you're running your own business. And any of you guys that freelance or you know, have your own business, you guys know this. Um, so using a template can really cut down time in certain projects. Now, I definitely wouldn't say you know, you can use a template in every single project, at least in my opinion. Um, what I used to do is I'm going to first talk about client work and then my own stuff. But with client work, if it were a let's say a local business, like a local flower shop where they were they were going to get like a, a few hundred viewers per month or something like that, I would give them the option. I would say, do you want me to create something from the ground up, you know, create mock ups, send them to you, re revise it, create, you know, write the HTML, CSS and so on, uh, build a completely custom user experience, user interface. Or do you want me to search for a pre made theme that kind of fits your needs that goes along with your brand that I can customize. And, you know, if, obviously, if you pick the, the custom route, it's going to be more money, it's going to take a lot more time to be able to do that. Um, and I'll tell you, in most cases, they would pick the template, because these aren't web developers, these are business people, you know, they don't give a shit about, you know, if someone on the other side of the world is using their template. Um, what they care about is having people come to their website, having it look nice, having it functional, um, good usability, and buying their products or services. That's what they care about. So in a lot of cases, they would choose the template route because it's going to be cheaper and they're looking to save money. Now, there, there were also other types of projects where I wouldn't even bring up a template. And this is, this is more large scale projects. So um, like social networks and type, type applications, things like that, you know, where they're paying me five, ten thousand $10,000 for this project. I'm not, I'm not even going to insult them by saying, do you want to use a template? This is for, for small scale projects that I would do that. Um, if it's, you know, a large scale application, then of course it's, it's very important to have your own brand, to have your own identity, you know, like, you're not going to try to build the next Facebook and, and use some temp, some template monster theme, you know, so you really want to make that unique and make that custom. You want to really, um, 
perfect the user experience and the flow of the the UI and stuff like that. So it's not something where I would I would suggest just buying a template and using it. So it really depends on the project is is the bottom line when it comes to clients. Okay, now another area where I find templates useful is for your own small side projects. All right, so uh, there was a point where I had you know ten or twelve. Um, uh, just small projects to bring in revenue, small revenue streams, you know, so you know, whether it was selling digital goods or uh, blog websites for AdSense or directories, I used to build a lot of web directories, whether they were paid or free. Um, so things like that. And in those cases, I would say about half the time I'd use a template because I didn't really care. They weren't, they weren't, um, you know, large scale projects that that I cared enough to create a completely custom UI. There were templates that suited my needs. So I, as long as the, um, you know, the usability was there, um, as long as uh, the code was written well, I didn't really care about uh, the, the using a template. I just wanted something that looked nice, you know, and I wanted to be able to focus on the actual coding, the actual back end, stuff like that. Um, so I think that in your own small projects, you should just evaluate it and see what, you know, would a template be okay for this website or for this application. Um, now, of course, you're going to have the super nerds that are going to say, you know, I would never use a template. I would never use this framework or that framework or a content management system, you know, fuck PHP. You're going to hear that all the time. And this, this kind of veers off from the template thing, but don't let those types of people discourage you, people that just want to trash everything. Um, I see it all the time. I see people get excited about something and then someone else bashes it and then they get discouraged and they may not go for it. You know, so you have to just kind of tune those people out. You're always going to have arrogant people, especially in, in the world of, of technology and, and programming. Um, there's a lot of people that just shit on everybody just because they want to sound smart. So just try to don't listen to those people. And that's why I try to be very unbiased. I never say, don't use this technology. This is crap. That's crap. I don't do that, you know, because I know that I have, a, I'm on a stage and I don't want to discourage anybody from doing what they want to do. Uh, I try to give my opinions and try to steer them in certain directions, but I'll never say, this is shit. Don't use it. Um, but that's, that's kind of a, a little side rant. But back to templates, you know, I think that you should evaluate each situation and just see if, if it if it fits or not, you know, and there, there are downsides, of course, it's not unique. Um, it's not something that you created yourself. There's, there's probably other web, well, there are other websites using it. Um, so definitely customize it the best you can if you're going to go with a template. Um, also, a lot of them are, are really bogged down with, with just crap, especially like WordPress themes. They'll come with extra plugins that you don't need that you're not going to use. So make sure you trim, trim the fat. You trim all the stuff you're not going to use. You know, any extra CSS files, uh, any extra styling, um, you know, images, just stuff that comes with the theme. Just strip it out if you're not going to use it. Don't keep it in there um, because it will just bog down your, your application or your website. But um, I think I think that's it, guys. You know, that's just my opinion. Of course, you can disagree with me if you want. That's absolutely fine. There's not really a right or wrong answer. Uh, this is just from my own experience. So that's it. That's all I got. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.